There's a penthouse up there, two stories high if you need it. In the mornings will be, well, I guess, pretty bright. But it's Florida. It's citrus. And it's kind of like, kind of reminds me of the Yacht Club, the Disney shop. So, you know, you'll see later how close it is. To but I like, I like the way this pool sits. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. I'm not really sure what's down there, but I thought I'd start you guys out with our room tour. It's a little disingenuous. I'm pretending like we haven't been inside, but we have. So without further ado, this is so great. This is why I'm really good at this. Room 855 at the Hilton Buena Vista Palace. You can see Kay's already in the sunlight, mm -hmm. ready. So walking in, kind of got a, uh, you know, nice living area, king size bed. We're just here for a couple of days without kids, which is weird, but it's certainly nice and spacious. Another room in case you want to make it too. It's got a little seating area here. Bed that lamp's off. It's gonna, that's gonna make me feel weird. There we go. So some bedside reading lamps. The linens definitely feel soft and nice. Bathroom, you know, pretty normal. I do love a lighted mirror. Nice big shower. And we did not, though you can certainly opt for it, a room uh, overlooking Disney Springs or the parks. We instead figured we didn't care, save some money, and we got this lake. So having coffee out here in the mornings will be, well, I guess, pretty bright. But it's Florida, and isn't that the point? So that's the room. Uh, we, we've stayed here before and we had a bigger room and it was great. So this is probably my preferred off property hotel that's still on property. I don't know if we can really stay off property again. Maybe. All right. So we'll do a little tour of the actual hotel in a bit and uh, show you all the things this place has to offer. Stick around. All right. So if we can find our way back. <clears throat> Kay's here now. She is. All right, so we're gonna give you a tour or at least a little walking video. We're gonna head down and get maybe a little breakfast because here, if you're following along is what's happened. We took a really early flight out of Virginia. So we got here at like quarter to eight in the morning. Took a lift, very nice lift and driver over here to the Hilton Buena Vista Palace. Now, arriving at 8-ish a.m., uh, they got us checked in. Like we got our room early. Yeah, definitely for the win. Because otherwise we were just gonna walk over to Disney Springs or wander around or try to find something going on. So kudos to Hilton, again, why I consider this my favorite hotel off on property to go to. So now we'll uh, walk down to the food area and uh, tour around there. What's going on? So this is there. Oh yeah. We have a picture of our kids here from many, many years ago. I think we did eat in there one time. Somebody gave us um, letter press, it's now called, which I think is new. But that's like their, uh, their sit-down restaurant. Those are stairs upstairs to the front desk. There again. I fit right in there. We needed more kids. This 
is citrus. And it's kind of like, kind of reminds me of the Yacht Club quick service. But it's, I, I recall we had some good pizza and good food from there. And then they have a little Hilton shop over here. Some Disney goodies and Orlando Fair. Some plushes in the back I can see. So this way you'd walk out to Disney Springs and the Island Building. And then let's go see uh, what they have for breakfast. Pools are that way. And they do have a really nice pool and as I recall, really good french fries. So you got some salads. I don't I've never had a salad, but that sounds interesting. Breakfast items here. Donuts, croissants, bagels, breakfast sandwiches. Ooh, that one has fruit loops on it. It's fruity like me. Starbucks coffee. I got a little mini candy area over here. Ice cream. And then I think the I think the Starbucks stuff is around this way as I recall. You can get some sunglasses. Pop tarts. Drinks and stuff, beer, wine. Here's a little bit of lunch and dinner as well. So we're gonna grab something and enjoy. One thing that is always suspiciously missing from a Disney property is Gatorade, because I think they have a, a Coke contract. So no Pepsi products. I don't love Powerade because it has high fructose corn syrup. Yes. And they have beer and wine. And the other thing, noticeably not here, Mickey bars. Gonna have to get my fix somewhere else. There. May not be anywhere to sit. We're gonna look out here see if there's a spot we can just sit down and have our breakfast out here by this beautiful pool. And then later we'll have to come back and get some of those french fries. So let's see if, let's see if these guys will let us have a little table somewhere. I guess we don't don't really need to ask, do we? I mean, we have a key, right? If that's what it requires. Uh, all right, now I gotta figure out how to operate the gate. What's that? Thanks so much. <laughs> so this is, I mean, this is beautiful, right? So I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we stayed here for their birthday and hung out at this pool, which was really cold. It was in October. Maybe we can go sit by one of these fire pits. Well, maybe not. You wanna just go sit over here? 
I don't want to dirty up someone's restaurant just so we can have a egg white bur breakfast burrito. So we'll sit over here in this lovely, oh, no, baby. spilled my coffee. It's all right. No one's going to know. You have a lot. I have a lot of coffee. Uh, enjoy here overlooking the fabulous hotel. All right, we've had a little egg burrito, which was delicious. I do remember them having good food in that little spot. So this hotel has two parts, the tower, which is what we see here. And then I think they call this the island. And we've always stayed in the tower, never stayed in the island. Not sure uh, what goes on over there. Uh, I don't remember any huge discount, nor do I remember the price going up substantially. So. Who knows? The whole hotel is nice. And you get this, uh, kind of have this uh, regular pool over here, which is framed by palm trees like uh, some Roman bathhouse. And then I forget what this is called. I'll put it down below, but little restaurant. And it, again, those delicious french fries, which we will showcase much later. But, uh, you know, you get your rum runner, get your strawberry daiquiri out here. Trying not to disturb every person in the world. Uh, we might have to, might have to cut back this way, Bubbo. Can I just eat one more? Trying not to talk in front of people because I still think it's weird. I'll put some music here. <laughs> they got a nice hot tub over there. Almost like a little hidden Mickey. Sort of without any incredible and copyright infringement. And then this is the Lazy River, which while maybe not the longest Lazy River in the world, as I recall, was a lot of fun when it wasn't freezing. So you can see we're coming around the pool area here. Oh, I can rinse that coffee off my foot. <laughs> Nicely landscaped. I mean, I will say, look, the rooms are normal. It's a normal hotel, right, with a Disney shop. So, you know, you'll see later how close it is to walk over to uh, Disney Springs. Just spill some coffee on my foot. But this is, I mean, this is a great hotel. Truly very beautiful, very convenient. Look, you can get your hair done there, maybe a henna tattoo, who knows? Mm -hmm. I think they have servers coming around. There's a penthouse up there, two stories high if you need it. Giant chair. As we know, life is complicated. The other dilemma, I can, you can see I have a bandage here. I'm trying to keep it kind of low key, but I've got, it's not an open wound, right? I mean, it's just a, it's, I've got like 10 stitches in my shoulder and I'm just trying not to scare the general Orlando population <laughs> by going out to the pool and looking like Frankenstein. However, a bandage isn't gonna do much good. Plus it looks like a man bra. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I don't work out. So, you know, Again, not really, they're not going to ask me to be in 301. <laughs> they're going to, they're going to pass by me on that. So, yeah, I could wear a rash guard, I guess. I should have brought a rash guard. I have. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. 
I may just say to heck with it and just try to keep like this whenever, nope, don't go over here. And not let anybody look at me from any other angles. Nothing to see. All right, just a quick, quick tour of the, uh, the Hilton gift shop. They got a lot of swimsuits. This could cost me some money. Kay loves new swimsuits. See, she's already found something. I like this. Here we go. Okay. They? What brand is this? That's Travis Matthew. That's actually nice. If that said Hilton on it, I'd buy it as a souvenir. But they have a lot of golf. They got some old Lukai down here. Which I love. Quick, there's a quick silver rash guard. So they got, you know, some pretty nice brands in here. Tommy Bahama. Quicksilver. But let's let's get to the good stuff, right? Who cares? You can get your poncho right here. Ten dollar. Ten dollar Mickey poncho. Poncho! Coffee cups, turvis and the like. Plenty of Mickey gear. I wish this was a rash guard. Big D shirt. Getting some some Orlando matchstick holders. We should get that for Kay's mom. Hey, it says we don't need a grandma, fairy godmother. We have a grandma. Mugs and tank tops and shorts and pajamas. Uh, you like those? Wallaroo hats, which Kay also likes. Oh, here we go. Here's a whole wall of all the Fancy ladies of the guy. Herschel backpacks. We went through a little Herschel phase. A wall of Quicksilver flip flops. Some nice luggage. Some with some familiar friends. Pool toys, kids' clothing, plenty of plushes. And a wall of turvis. So a nice little gift shop. All right, now we're gonna walk down, I guess, by the uh, fitness center, which I don't know what we need that for. Here's the game room, though. This looks like one of those games of chance. I think Disney got rid of all those. Looks impossible. Zoltar. I'm not messing with that. They got a nice arcade for some, some fun stuff to do on a rainy day or Maybe while you're waiting for that bus. There's a pool, there's a pool right there. So look, they got this, this nice little area out here. A little fountain. There's a, must be like a quiet pool on the other side. And then right over here, is where you take your your Disney shuttles. So they have a shuttle that runs to the park, but I don't know if it, I know we took it one time, so I don't know how consistent it is. I'll take a little peek inside the fitness center in case that's something you're into. Standard fare. You can't see anything there. That's oh. Uh, I Pop in, medicine balls, 
water fountain. Typical job. So around this corner, from the little gym area, we're just following signs. You can't have that. You can't have that. You've got a lollipop. No. You've got a lollipop. And you've got this cool walking path over to Disney Springs. So that pool is closed, we saw. There's a pool in there, but I don't know what it's for. It's just a regular pool. Not fancy. Yeah. Although technically all pools are kind of fancy. Yeah. But the real pool across the water there. I don't know what that pool is for. Apparently not for us. Does this hotel have a jogging trail? Okay. I think this is it. Oh. It's my favorite tree and not like in a jungle cruisy pointing way. <laughs> but I love live oaks. We have one in our yard at home. And it's the best. But you can see, I mean, this is a beautiful hotel. It If I'm being honest, it doesn't it doesn't feel super Disney, right? Like you can definitely tell that it's not. There's no theming. There's no story. You can create your own story. It's the magic of, of Orlando. But you are on Disney property. You do get the benefits of shuttles. I think you get extra magic hours, but I'll double check and, and say that that's true. Uh, and uh, let's see, it is now 125, sorry, 1225, clock watcher over here. <laughs> um, and we're gonna see how long it takes us to walk onto Disney Springs property. So while I will film this, I probably will not bore you with the entire walk, at least not at a regular pace. So that was like five minutes. That was five minutes and I took the stairs. So, I mean, like I said, it's pretty much on proper. We're getting K in the water for the, for the lazy river. When you feel it, you'll, you'll be fine. She does not like cold water. Uh, now there's requirements, and I gotta go backwards. <laughs> I got you. It's super buoyant. All right, now we can get a little tour of the Lazy River. I mean, this water is nice. It's okay, I've got Kay by the foot. <laughs> we came here in October, and it, this water was freezing. Even the kids didn't want to go in it. This is nice. And this is March. This is April. Same thing. April 2nd. All right, dude. It's too many details. People will know where we are. But this place is really nicely landscaped. And this is a good lazy river. So we'll just float along. Talk about our day. 
share some secrets, some painful stories from our past. As is the way in the, le in the lazy river. And I got this hotel through spirit. So I'm trying very hard to save money on stuff. You know, when we come in the summer, we like to stay somewhere really well, nice and the hotel's really important and the resort's really important. And for this trip, it's just three nights, popping down, film a little bit, Tokyo Drift. enjoy some stuff. No. You know, Why do people let go? really didn't need a, a fancy hotel as much as I would like to have one. And I looked on property, but first of all, kind of planned this last minute, which if you're doing any Disney travel, you really want to do ahead of time. Then, the only things that were available were like Pop Century. And I would have stayed there because we'd never done it, but for the price, this was half price. Maybe even a little more with the. What? Because I think. I feel like it was like 275 a night, and then I got it for like 150 or something. I mean, I feel like I don't know. I feel like when I went after I booked it, I went back to the site to check on it, and I feel like it was about the same price. I think basically we saved like the resort fee, which I hate. Just make the. Oh, really? You mean like you didn't really save them? No, we did. But it wasn't like the full amount that I thought I was going to save. Uh, Still a good savings. I hate resort fees. I tried to escape, but Kay found me. I feel like when I die, I just want to live in a lazy river. <laughs> like I just want to float and go around and around. Like this would be the optimum way to travel. What time are you getting there? I don't know. Depends what time the Lazy River opens. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until the Lazy River gets me there. We're about 75% of the way done. There's still plenty of lazy rivering to do. But this water is not cold. Ooh, it's a dark, scary area. There's the old hotel. We're up there somewhere, but facing off to the right. I think we stayed here and we got a, uh, we had like a Disney Springs view one time and that was a lot of fun. But we've made it around the circle. Sure. Now we're headed to the hot tub. Uh, here's a little, here's a little nighttime view of the Hilton Buena Vista Palace pool. The hot tub's over there in the dark, as hot tubs should be. And even though we walked around here and swam around here, it really is pretty. I guess all pools are pretty at night, though. But they have lots of chairs. And I don't think we came down here much during the day in October. We'll be down here tomorrow. And then we can tell exactly how crowded this gets. But frankly, there's a, there's a lot of space. And kind of a, in between the lazy river here, you got a nice shallow area for little guys. Fountains. Got a little zero entry over here. I'm trying to take my towel off. And I'm not very good at it. So again, shades. I don't. I don't know what any of the hours are. There's still the bartender over there. We're we're not going to bother him. I imagine they probably close at 11. I think that's what Kay said. The pool. 
the pool hours were. Cabanas to rent. In case you need a just a little extra luxury. But I like I like the way this pool sits. I usually go for like a lagoon style pool, but I like the way that's framed by the palm trees. I think it's pretty good. And the water's chilliest pool is this one, according to Kay. And then the Lazy River was nice and warm. And again, tomorrow we'll be procuring those those french fries. But I mean, that's a big bar. You know, it's 15 seats across the front. That'll hold a lot of folks. Kay was saying earlier, and she's right, it does have like a a mini Vegas feel to it. Nice fire pit. So yeah, that's the pool at night. I think it's really pretty. I like this hotel a lot. It's, you know, you got your monorail hotels, arguably number one, including Wilderness Lodge on that. And then you got your the beach club boardwalk area where you can get to Epcot and uh, Hollywood. But this is nice. This makes you feel special over here on Disney Springs. You know, we walked over to eat. We walked over for lunch, except for those stairs. It's not really a big deal. So, nice pool area. Nice day. Nice night. So as you may or may not know, I'm not a an amazing planner and I forgot to go back and film the lobby which you know isn't anything special but it's nice so here's a little bit more of the room we love staying here I think it's a great alternative that still gives you a lot of magic without the uh, unmagical prices of some of the rooms um, we're staying at all-star uh, next week and with my pass holder discount um, it works out to be cheaper than this hotel. And the Wyndham next door, which I also have a little review of, um, is, is cheaper. But this hotel is definitely nicer. Again, this still stays as my favorite hotel that's on Hotel Row. You know, it's still a Disney hotel, but not an official park resort. You get a lot of the magic. It's clean. It, the food offerings are great. The pool is spectacular. It's you know, Disney Springs adjacent. I love it. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope this hope helps some people out if they're looking for a hotel and uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are rocketing up in subscribers and uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see, what I can do to show you at Disney and help you maybe plan a little trip down there. So thanks for watching. Have a really big day.